Hello, it's Angeline. Christmas is almost here. I can actually feel it. So I'm going to show you how I created this Christmas card for the holidays. So I'm grabbing some Newell shimmer powders here to create my background. And I'm also grabbing some Glitz Glitter Gel, which is from Gina K Designs and some Tim Holtz stencils. And I'm using a watercolor cardstock here because I'm going to add lots and lots of water and pigment onto my card. So I'm spritzing some water to my cardstock and then I'm grabbing the powders and just lightly spritzing it onto my card. A little goes a long way. So I'm just creating a pattern as I go, adding the colors in between. And you can do whatever pattern you like here, adding whatever colors. And I thought I'll stay traditional for this card by keeping it to the reds and greens with some pops of gold. Once I'm happy with it, I'm just grabbing some water and just spritzing it all up to blend and mix all the colors in. And if you're not happy with it, you can always add more color. So start off with little color first and then add on as you go. I'm grabbing a piece of paper towel here just to dab out the excess colors so that it will not mix too much and turn brown or muddy. So just repeat the process by adding more color, dabbing off the excess, adding more water, and repeat this until you're satisfied. So once you're happy with it, just grab your heat tool to just dry everything up. Next, I'm grabbing my pixie spray and to spritz it onto the back of my stencil in an empty box. Just make sure it is in an open space so that you don't choke yourself up. And then I'm using the stencil to place right onto my cardstock. Because of the pixie spray, it will adhere to my card without moving when I am applying the gel. So I'm grabbing the Glitz Glitter Gel here by Gina K Designs and a palette knife and just going through my stencil um, and just adding it to create this subtle design onto my card. You could always use different colors but I chose this because I didn't want um, the pattern to be too contrasting because my background was already really bright so I'm just adding this white glitz glitter gel to my card and once you're done just remove the stencil carefully and ta-da! here it is all dried up and i've also added the sentiment by ann butler which is from her joyous comfort kit so here is my finished card i hope you enjoyed this technique and thanks for watching bye